Shimai GTA fans, we have a load of new cars with the new DLC, so I'm going to buy the most expensive car, the Du Bochi Championi. And this is got to be the best car, trade price. I need to do this whatever as a leader, so I'm not going to get that. It's 2.995 million. I've not even bought the goddamn thing yet. Okay, auto shop storage, let's do that. Now, I'm going to take this car through its paces on the test track, etc., race performance, but I'm also going to first customise it to the hilt. How's about that then? Right, so here we are. Do drop a like and a subscribe if you are a fan of the Aston Martin Victor, which this car is based on, and it's, it's not a bad looking car. Well, I mean, it's a great looking car. Why would I pay three million for a car? Right, first off with this customisation, I'm not going to do the full armour upgrades that you can do in your office space um, because you can add extra armour which makes a bit real difference but I'm making a race car with this build I and mean, I'm going to put the armour on I am going to put the weapons on in another build which will be a separate video so just bear that in mind uh, don't feel shortchanged because you know what I'm like I'll be here all day um, right so we've got stock bumper Oh, you can add a splitter to it. The splitter with a little bit of a nodry bit looks quite nice. I think that's that suits it, I think. I think I'll go with that. Yeah, rear bumpers or splitters. Um, stock is just um, got this uh, splitter here. And it's really just a splitter you're changing. So we got painted accents. Oh, what the hell is that? Um, dif performance diffuser. It's hanging off a little bit. I don't think I like that. Oh, I definitely don't like that. That is... That is a cheese grater and a half, isn't it? That is terrible. No, 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 no. We are going to go painted accents, I think. I hope that isn't a mistake. But let's do it. Um, canards. So do we want canards on the side? Performance canards? No, we don't. It's an Aston Martin. We're not going for numpty stuff on this. <laughs> okay, EMS engine upgrade. I've not even done the engine upgrades. Exhausts are on the side. Um, so the stock exhaust looks like that. And if you want to have a crap exhaust that's sticking out, you can get that. But I quite like the stock exhaust or the titanium. It's one of those two. Uh, let's go with stock. I like it. Why change it if you don't want to? <clears throat> if you don't want to. Right, you can change to a carbon hood. That's the only hood. A really disappointing customization there. Um, lights, we can change the put neons on. We can change the, the lights to xenon, but we're not going to. Why should we do that? Liveries. Ah, this is interesting. Let's have a look what kind of liveries we get on offer. So the stripes don't go well. Actually, the white ones go well with the black. So that's okay. And I quite like this one with du, du Boach on the side. Tattoos. Yeah, that's a nice livery. But, oh, that's disgusting. Fuckery. What is that about? Sprunk. With a with a union flag, that is the worst thing livery in the whole game. It's got to be. Um, so I'm tempted by the stripes, but we need to get rid of this muck if we're going to go for that. Um, so do I want to go stripes? Well, I'm not really certain. So I'm going to leave it for now because I need to know what color I'm doing, don't I? Oh, but first let's change the plate. Let's go for cop 26 and a black one. It's going to be black and skirts. Let's have a look at the skirts. You've got carbon or standard. Uh, carbon makes zero difference. Oh, this is the uh, the spoilers. I, I think it looks great without a spoiler, but it's going to offer us extra traction. I noticed, so I just had a quick drive around and it does have a little bit of slip, um, but I think this would uh, improve things a little bit. I want something small, like the sports wing maybe, or that one is better. I don't want something too big like that. I think it's too much. I think this might just blend in. We might get away with that. Maybe not that. That. Okay. Um, sun strips. So this just. Yeah, sun strips. It's already quite a nice window. I think the sun strips will ruin it. Uh, ruin the look. Suspension. All right. Let's have a look where how low we can go. It's already pretty low. So we're dropping it down to sports. Obviously. Transmission. Yes. Uh, turbo. Yes. We need that. Wheels and windows. Windows, I'm going to go limo because I, I think my final build for this is going to be an armoured one, so I don't want people to see me. Tyres, they're pretty good tyres that come with it, but you can't change them, can you? You can't do wheel colour. So wheel type, um, maybe the street wheels will have something in it. Or maybe that's going to dirty it up a bit too much. They're a bit too chub, aren't they, the street wheels? Um, let's think... 
Anything grab your attention there? Hmm. I mean, it's it's got to be the mega mega concave. Yeah, maybe that tuna. Let's try the the tuna stock rims. They're all chub, aren't they? They are all wrong for it. Very wrong. Yeah, stock wheels are better than all of those. What am I looking for? Track. Is that the one I wanted? That is the one I wanted. Those are too chub. Too chub. I, I like that, but not on this car. <laughs> I mean, is this just paying more money for something, really? Because you're into 30 grand for something that isn't terribly exciting. I mean, that could be. We've done that recently, though. And that is too big, too complicated, maybe. Ice Storm, possible. I like this one. I like this one with the curl curl around. I think we could get away with that one. Get away with it. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Super Turbine. Wheel colour, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Black looks great with anything. Um, but I don't know yet what I'm going for. Do I? Tyres, we've got to put the bulletproof tyres on. It's tyre design. Oh, we don't even know what colour we're going for yet. Um... Maybe we should put Fukaru on just for the crack because it's uh, it's a swear word. Bulletproof tires, obviously. Tire smoke. Don't know yet. Don't know any of it. I've not coloured it up. Come on, get with the program. What's wrong with you? Colour it up, right? We are five minutes in and we've not got a colour. Let's have a look. Respray. Um, primary colour. So the te secondary. Um, let's look at the. Let's just have a look at the classics. See what we can do with this. That's nice. Racing blue's nice. Like that, like that. Um, I wanted to look at what the dark purple was going to look like. White, I think it's too chav. Let's look at the metallics. Graphite. Dark steel. I mean, these are good. These are actually pretty damn good. But this, I want probably to be to remain black. You know, it goes in, it blends in nicely, I think, if that remains black. So, we want a paler colour. But... I say fairly colour, but sunset red's nice. I'm kind of thinking of a purple, aren't I? Pista pink, no way, no way. Um, colours, colours, come on. I mean, dew yellow. Dew yellow, you could do. It's like a green. I think that could look alright. Maybe we could put a livery on that. I don't know if that's wrong, though. Dew yellow. Let's have a look at the purple I was thinking about. Gasoline green, no. Oh, that galaxy blue looks nice, yeah. I've coloured a plane this colour recently. Where's it gone? Where's my purple? Midnight purple, yeah. Midnight purple, now that is classy. The wheels could be like silver as they are, or they could be a, a white colour with that white colour. Maybe this could be white as well. I don't know, though. <laughs> Come on, make your mind up. Or maybe just plain old purple. Look at that. It's great. Okay, we are in Wonderland here. Polished silver. Anyone? Let's, let's do it. I'm, I'm going to make find a way of making it work. Midnight purple. I'm going to find a way of making it work. Secondary colour. Classics. Now, we, white. How does that look? Is that good enough? I'm going to make this work somehow. I think it might well be. We've got the white accent down below as well. And the white on top. But is it too white? Maybe grey. Boring grey, no. Something to complement the purple. We could go radical and go yellow. That's really too colourful, I think. We're finding a way of making it work. Maybe this is wrong. Diamond blue, that's essentially white, isn't it? But I like it. I like it, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm still not sure I've done this right. Um, but let's do it, let's do it. Um, wheels, so we want the wheels to be white. Frost white, yeah. That goes. It goes all right. Um, tires, tire smoke. We want to be uh, purple. It's a purple build, obviously. Okay, we're here. We are done. I think we are complete. That is the build. And windows, livery. Is that it? That is the customization. It's not a lot for what you pay. You've just paid a mega bucks. I've just paid mega bucks. So save your money if you want customization because there really isn't any. It's bumpers, a few. Bumpers, canards. I've missed something here. No. Let's leave and see what we can do. The drag race, champion versus pariah. Okay, that was a nice takeoff. And you can see the pariahs ahead there. 
Yeah. It's not it's not there, is it? Prize there sixteen and a half seconds. The champion is a second just over a second slower. So that's pretty significant considering that's a super class car. Oh well. Well, not great for the drag races then perhaps. Time for our champion to take on the test track. Now, there's a fair bit of uh, understeer on the corners to deal with. It takes a while to get used to. It took me a fair few laps to get consistent laps. Um, it accelerates all right, you know. Corner's okay. Come up to the big corner here. The double hairpin. So we missed the water trap there. And coming up to the straight. And foot down, we are doing all right. And another hairpin before little right-hander and the big left-hander here we go this is where it struggles on the big left-hander because you need to take the power off significantly otherwise the wheels just squeal don't you hear that they were squealing like hell and we're coming into the s uh, did that nicely and come up to the 450 50 seconds okay not bad not bad all right, so that brings us in at 56 decimal 21 seconds, which is not bad. Not bad for a car. You know, it's ninth place in the test track table in the top end. Um, but there's a lot of better cars in there, especially in the super class. You know, look at that. You've got Krieger, Emerus. You've got the Growler even, Tempesta, X80 Proto, Pariah. Pariah is one and a half million. It's half the price, but it's so much better value for a race car. That's in the, um, in the um, not the super class, the one below the sports class. Um, so anyway, I would not buy it as a performance car for racing with. I buy it because you like the look of it and you like the way it handles because it, it kind of um, does the power slides. You flip out quite nicely there because it doesn't, for me, it does not have enough grip. If it had more grip, that would make all the difference with this car. It would really be able to nail those corners a lot better. I think it needs a, a bit more grip. So for, mo for value for money it's not worth it as a performance car as a race car you're not going to use it in races but it does have um, armor upgrades so you can put the armor upgrades on to um, allow it to withstand RPGs you know a press a mark to missiles um, and um, it doesn't have bulletproof protection off of the windows though, unfortunately so you get shot out of it quite easily um, so it, there's still a question mark on is it worth it even when you take into account all the weapons upgrades that you can put on it so you can put mach twin machine guns on it but you may as well get a night shark for that kind of business and it can take a lot more missiles for example but you can also get the paragon r you know it's a similar kind of lo looking car um the armored one and um that can take probably similar amount of missiles i think um the karuma can't take any missiles but nevertheless, it's, it's a, the, one of the best cars for bullet protection, so you can't get shot out of it. Very hard, very hard to get shot out of a Karuma. Um, obviously, it, this is faster than all of those cars, so it is, I think it's the fastest armoured car in the game. If you can call it armoured, you know. Um, you'll have to look at my next video where I'll, I'll check out the armoured protection and the weapons it's got. It's also got um, mines as well, so sticky um, oil slick mines. So those are pretty good if you're trying to run away from someone who's pursuing you. Um, it'll give you a bit of an edge. So it might be worth it. It might be worth it from the look of it, but I f I'm finding it very hard to recommend for 3 million. I think for me, I'd, I'd have preferred to wait until... Oh, lots of people hanging around... Um, why has everyone bought this agency? This is the most expensive one. But I'd rather wait around for a discount, basically. But we might be waiting a long time for that. So it's entirely up to you on how much money you have and how much you've got to spend. Got to spend. So if that's been useful for you, do drop a like and a subscribe. I'm going to show you the upgrade costs here just before you go. Um, because this is what I'm going to be putting on next. Armour plating there. Yeah, 150 grand. 230 for remote control unit that's where you can make it into a remote control car 400 grand for the anti lock on missiles so hopefully that will protect us from the mark twos check out my next video for that which will be in a couple of days probably now but thank you very much for watching and have a great day in gta